Hey guys, so today I'm going to be introducing you to Canva, where we are going to take a poem and visually represent it in a poster that could be printed out, hung up, enjoyed. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to quickly run through the basics of the, the uh, software and we'll get on our way. So I chose to do the poem, Hope is a Thing, is a thing with Feathers by Emily Dickinson. And I uploaded my own photo of a bird flying, which you can do if you come over here and hit uploads. You can choose to upload an image. So that's what I did because this is a cool one that I think my mom had taken and she was permitting me to use. So then um, over on this side, you have a bunch of things. If you are trying to make like different kinds of posters, there's a lot of templates you can use. But for our purposes, we more need elements and text. So here you have different, you can use free photos, you can use free graphics, um, different grids to help you structure it, shapes, gradients, charts, lines, frames, illustrations, anything you can imagine um, you can use. A lot of stuff is free, and but there is like a way you can upgrade and pay for different images that aren't free, but we just need to focus on the free stuff. So first we kind of need a text. So you can scroll through and see if there are any texts that you like over here, but this is more like a template if you knew what you were trying to do. So I would just do headings and stuff. Type in your title, who it's by, Emily Dickens. And then you can move, place, wherever you want. You can change your font up top. Oh, come on guys. Anyway, you could change your font up here. They have a ton of options. So say we wanted Antonio like. Um, your size is up here, where you would like it. Bold, italicized, centered, left. Um, that's very similar to Word in that regard. Um, once you're done with that, you could do subheading, which would be, you know, the poem, blah, blah, blah. And then you would place your different stanzas all over, however is most pleasing to you. So let's call this second stanza. And the goal is to really create a visual that is representative of your poem, that's a stanza, of the poem, how you see it, and how it is, if you can kind of blend those two things. So like for me, I picked a, picked a picture that was really um, blue and light and hopeful, but if the mood of your poem is something grimmer or darker, you can find images and graphics that um, relate to that and that are connected to that. So over here, if you wanna insert um, graphics, they have all the lines and everything, but you can just search whatever you want and you can see like these ones are a dollar. So you wouldn't necessarily wanna pick those, but I managed to find a free one that you can then adjust the size of, you can change shape like that. If you wanted to duplicate it, you'd come up to copy, hit copy, now you have two. You can change the color, some of them you can change the color for. I don't know about this one. Oh, because it's technically a picture. Um, if it were like an image, elements, Let's just say it was a smiley face. It's probably easy to find the free graph there. For that, you can change the colors just to exemplify if you're working on anything. And yeah, so I'm going to show you what I actually did for this up here. I'll zoom in a little bit. Ooh, too much. Sorry about that. So I need to make this bigger font, actually. It's not running like that. 56. Spread it out. There we go. 
So hope is a thing with feathers that perches in the soul, sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard and swore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity it has to come of me. So yeah, that is a quick tutorial on how to use Canva. Thanks for listening.